Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Soft Server. In this video, we will be discussing about how to customize the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Participant Certificate. Like lots of candidates are asking the same questions, like how do you create this type of certificate? Okay, so this is the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Participant Certificate. So if you are a Microsoft Ambassador, then you should like uh, issue the certificate. A lot of candidates are just uh, done these challenges and you have to issue the certificate so this is types of this is the types of certificates in this certificate we just update something like we just put the qr code and you can also you can also use this template so this is the python code i can share you the procedure like for how to uh, customize how to just like write these types of code so i have already uploaded the this whole code in our github okay so if you are landing on this my github profile you can see that what is the procedure and how to follow it there are multiple files are there you did not do this anything you just simply download this file and the procedures are mentioned are there like how to follow it and simply one by one you can follow this procedure and after that you can simply create the uh, these types of certificate okay but right now in this video i'm explain all these things so when you are landing on this page you just simply download this uh, repository okay so you can simply download this repository and you just open in a vs code okay you can just open in a vs visual studio code and in this visual studio code you can see that there is a multiple files are there but the main file is like a uh, main certificate.py and there is a template in this template there are uh, i have already created this template you just simply open this file in a vs code and you just simply follow this some major step okay firstly you can see you have to simply change the participant name like how many participants are there no problem lot of participants are there you can simply copy the name and you just paste the participant name okay so when we come on the vs code in this vs code you can see that in this template file there is a event participant okay in this event participant you just simply write the name what you want so i am just putting suppose uh, rahul kumar so we just put the rahul kumar and we just save this file okay so right now our file our name is saved in this file even those participant file okay then again this is the main.certificate.py file this is the basic main file you just simply change this something like if you are a microsoft student ambassador and definitely you can put your name so you can put your name and you can put your challenge or event name both of the datas are present in our certificate so if you are changing this name so the certificate will be changed the, the, the certificate host a name and the certificate uh, like challenges name will be changed okay so it's depend on you like if you are changing uh, this challenges name and event name okay and uh, host name so you have to change this both of these things okay after that you can simply save this file so we just suppose we just uh, change the name suppose like uh, we just uh, put the azure azure fundamental and after that if you are if you are uh, want to change the name so i'm just uh, changing the name so i am just changing the hosting name so you just change what you want okay so we just change the name and we also change the event name so after that you can simply save this file and again you can simply check this is the certificate.py so you do not need to change this thing okay in this output section you can see there is a three files are there first is document folder is there second is pdf folder and third is qr folder okay so i am just go to the file and we just we just show you like uh, how many files are there and how to open it okay so just give me a some second like see this is the our file this is the uh, file in this folder the document folders are there if you want to open this document for so this is a word file and this is the pdf file see if you are opening in this like this is the pdf file and uh, also this is the in this qr section this is the qr like in the every certificate the qr will be changes okay if you are scanning this qr code 
then the participant name will be show the uh, the event name will be show that the host name will be show a lot of things are uh, like you can see that a lot of things are if you are sharing this QR code so you can see uh, there is a multiple things are there so after that after that you can simply uh, this is our main file like main slash certificate dot py so yes you just go to the terminal and you don't you don't do not do do anything you just simply follow this procedure okay what they mention are there so you just uh, have you completed have you changed their name yes exactly i have uh, edit, edit our participant name after that we just change this uh, event name and host name and after that we just uh, open the terminal and simply write these things like uh, we install this all requirement my uh, my things okay so we just go to the uh, terminal you write new terminal and after that uh, we just paste it okay and put it enter and just just wait few seconds like almost it takes few seconds to like download all your requirement uh, packages okay so right now our packages is almost uh, downloaded and again we just go to the disk uh, github and after you can see that you can just simply uh, run this command if you are using the mac then you can use this command and if you are using for the window then definitely you can use for this command okay so we just uh, right now our packages are downloaded so we just put this uh, second uh, like uh, main python slash main certificate.py so we just enter this uh, code then after that you can see that your certificate uh, will be generated in this output file okay so if you are just opening this folder you can see that if you, if, if we opening this folder and in this output folder you can see there is a Rahul Kumar certificate is generated right now and uh, the like host name is also be changes the participant name is also be changes and the QR code is also be changes so you have to you just follow this simple procedure to generate these things okay so I have already uploaded this uh, whole codes in our github repository so you just you just go to the our repository and you simply download these files and you can customize this certificate and according to your need what you want and you just customize according to you okay so the participant name the uh, challenges name the hosted name the qr code these whole things are changes okay and in this in this uh, in this like a uh, code uh, there is a not any limitations like if you if your participant is 15 like 100 200 300 it takes a lot of time like little bit time it's taking to convert the file you to creating this whole file like and if you are again you just go to the keyword section see there is a, a two keyword code is generated so these are the main things are there so if you were if you were do this thing it's, it's very helpful for you it save your time okay so i think this video is helpful for you to generate this microsoft learn student ambassador certificate thank you guys all the best have a nice day.